In Ohio, you need a license to wash hair or do nails for a living. Want to adjust eyeglasses or be a bait dealer? You need a license for that too. But you don't need a license to operate a dental lab. Shocking video of a lab in Ohio came to light during a police standoff. Local 12's Paul Latote joins us now live to tell us why you might want to ask your dentist questions about upcoming crowns and bridges and dentures and fillings, Paula. Rob, with an aging population, there is a growing demand for dental products. Dental labs are largely unregulated in over 40 states. Online, it's easy to find labs in China offering cheap crowns and a 10-day turnaround. Domestically, a lab can pop up anywhere. This is a dental lab, the basement of a home in Springfield, Ohio. That's not a dental lab. Actually, there's no law to say it's not, but we'd agree with well, Darren Blaylock, who owns Greater C, a state-of-the-art lab on the west side. We're scanning the implant site, designing it. He's also working to elevate standards in his industry. He was horrified by the home in Springfield. The man operating in the basement was discovered by our sister station, WSYX, in Columbus after the operator's brother was arrested at the home on several charges, including using weapons while intoxicated. The dentures being made here have been sold to Ohio dentists. It's self-regulated. There is no minimum standard. That lack of regulation is upsetting to Blaylock, who runs a business that's been in his family three generations. He's been working with the Ohio Dental Association to lobby the legislature for at least minimum industry standards. Some type of inspection um, to inspect the facility, um, to make sure that they're using up-to-date equipment. Blaylock says while in-house labs, basement operations, so-called mom-and-pop places are common, they are normally clean and up-to-date. He does feel at a minimum there should be a certified dental technician there to oversee. Among other things, a CDT needs five years of lab experience. The man operating this lab said he learned his job in a one-year course in prison. He's not being identified because, again, we can't point to a law that's being broken with no lab license needed. But unlike the labs, dentists are heavily regulated by the state dental board, and that's where you as a patient can start asking some questions. What kind of relationship does your dentist have with their lab? And even ask about filling materials. Where do they get them? With filling material, there are some catalog order companies that you know, if you order the product, it'll look like the original thing. It may be outdated. You may not know that. Dentist Dr. Larry Hagan says not all mail order companies are bad, but like labs, he thinks a dentist should take care to deal with reputable companies. He says a good dentist won't mind if you ask if they have personally inspected their dental lab and why they might be ordering materials online, out of state, or even out of the country. Is that a concern? To me it is because, again, we lose control. And I know it's become an issue with not just in dentistry, but a lot of industries where things are over shipped our season. We had the lead issue with the toys a few years ago. There was lead in some crowns years ago. Hagen and Blaylock both say the majority of dentists and labs are above board, but when huge money is at stake, there's always the potential for abuse. And without regulation, I guess it's just a, a moral choice. And the decision to put art in this lab was a choice made to show patients dental work is an art and not just a matter of grinding out teeth. In Ohio, there is no law, there is now rather a law that requires dentists to be told the point of origin of all the materials used in dental products, whether from inside or outside the U.S., but that is not the case in Kentucky. However, in the Commonwealth, a lab does need to have a certified dental technician or equivalent. Actual registration of labs is only required in four states. Rob. Paula, thanks very much. After our sister station aired the photos of the Springfield lab, State Representative Heather Bischoff said her office plans to look into whether labs should be regulated and required to have minimum standards of operation. We'll let you know if the law changes.